Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about scallops. Um, they're a very special food and very easy to make if you know, you know how to handle them. They can cook very fast, so some people get you know, a little insecure on how to handle them uh, because they're usually not cheap. So you want to make sure you, you know, handle them properly, sear them properly so you can have that beautiful presentation and make your family a nice fine dining meal at your house. So here we have some beautiful scallops. They're very large, as you can see, like the size of my hand. Um, it has two surfaces, the smaller and the larger one. We usually sear the largest one for um, plating purposes to look really, really good. Um, the other thing a lot of people don't know is that the scallop comes with a muscle attached to it, as you can see right here. So this piece is what holds the scallop to the shell and it's very chewy so you can just go ahead and remove it with your fingers it comes out very easy it's not harmful whatsoever if you eat it but it's chewy you don't want to do that uh, the other thing is um, you want to put your scallops on a paper towel before you season it just to absorb the remaining water that's there um, so it can help you get a better sear as well so you can go ahead and just clean all the muscles with your fingers see how easy it is and here is a really large one you will see you know very easily comes out oh, this one also has it so it comes out and that's my dog another one very easy. Uh, and now, uh, the other very important fact about the scallops is that um, you don't want to season them until it's time to go on a pot, pan. Because if you put salt on the scallops, all the moisture inside that makes it nice and juicy will go away. So it will dry your scallop. You want you don't want to do that. You want to wait until is the absolute time to cook it, to season it with salt, pepper only. So our skillet's heating up here. You want to get this very, very, very hot, um, and then we're gonna go ahead and season our scallops with salt. It might seem a lot when you season it, but half of this stays in a pan. So you want to be generous. Like pepper. And I like to season the other side as it goes in a pan. So this is not smoking at. You want it to be smoking hot. Oil is very hot right now. And uh, we're going to go ahead and drop our scallops one by one. And it, that's the noise you want to hear when it hits the bottom of the skillet. And you can start on the 12 o'clock and go around so you can, you know, for your own control, know which one you put down first. The other thing is you don't want to overcrowd skillet very much so you don't want them to steam you want them to be able to color really well and the other thing very important don't touch them like two minutes more or less don't move them don't flip them don't shake the skillet let them be so they can caramelize as they touch the bottom of the skillet. I'm going to go ahead and season the top. I 
got these pretty guys here from my garden outside. I'm just going to pop them in for some fun. Rosemary. You're going to be able to see the bottom getting brown, so you're going to go ahead and flip them. Make it a beautiful color. And once this side is seared this much, the other side should be really fast. You don't want to overcook them because they get very rubbery. more or less two minutes each side. Uh, at this point, you could go ahead and drop some butter in if you'd like uh, for some richness. I am not going to do that because I'm trying to keep it clean, but you're welcome to do it. So if you want to learn to uh, see if your food is ready by the touch, it's, uh, it takes a little practice, but you can definitely do it. With the scallop, you want to touch it and it's, it's not super soft anymore. I like to remove them into a paper towel. So, absorbs a little bit of the remaining fat. So, when we go plate them, there's no drips of fat around it. So, you remove um, the pan from the heat. And then, we're going to go ahead and plate it. Okay, so the scallops are ready and really pretty. As far as plating, you don't really need to do much. Um, they're pretty as is, but here's some examples of really easy things to find in your fridge, in your local market, or even in your garden, if you grow on your herbs. Uh, three scallops is usually a nice portion for a person, depending on the size of the scallop. Here we we'll just use uh, a little um, piece of rosemary, there's a piece of thyme, some microgreens, um, and some little flowers that I picked from another plant I had. And there you have it. Um, they're very, very good to go with a nice salad or on top of a really creamy risotto. You can get really creative with it. And there you have it. Seared scallops. Bon appetit. I hope this video was helpful and made you a little bit, you know, um, more confident to handle the scallops at home. They're fresh and delicious. You can find them at your local fish market. Uh, some grocery stores do offer them, just make sure they're fresh. Um, and um, stay tuned for more videos to come. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Bon appetit!